I might be. Six! Oh. Holy shit! We got all kinds of people. We got all kinds of people here tonight. All right. <laughs> so, Will is going to be joining the story late. Will is a guy that I met through a online stream that I watch. And we were going to play a different game. And it kind of fell apart at the last minute last week. And I was uh, sort of upset about it. And so I decided that it was my game and I would invite him to play just this once. If he sucks, we'll kick him to the curb. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> uh, I'm so rusty. I haven't played D&D in like two years. Well, we have a couple of uh, relatively inexperienced players as well, so don't worry about it. Um, tonight we will be uh, venturing yeah, I'm, back. I'm pretty new at this myself, so into the uh, into the eye of the All Father, and we will be um, we will be joining the um, the game in progress. So let me pull up the map. And basically the story so far, um, the guys were sent out uh, into the wild by a fire giant named Daltor. Daltor lives in a sewer, and Daltor is sort of a nice fire giant, but he's also like a fire giant, so he's kind of a dick sometimes too. Um, but, you know, in general, he's a sort of a nice guy, and he has um, requested that the adventurers please, pretty please, find out who murdered his nephew. And the uh, the nephew's name is Elmoria, and um, they've had some uh, escapades, and they are currently on the Golden Iris, uh, flying around the... Uh, the sort of Forgotten Realms, not really the Forgotten Realms that I've uh, sort of cobbled together from stuff that I like. Um, if you're familiar at all with the uh, with the world of the Lies of Loch Lamora, uh, a lot of the cities that you'll see uh, are in uh, are in here as well. Um, welcome, Owen, to the stream. We have a new guy <laughs> named Will. Um, he's going to be hanging out with us tonight. Um, say hi, Will. Hi. So what is Will? I am Will. <laughs> You'll meet Will here in a minute. Um, Will is going to be playing a character that he will get to introduce when you guys get to the Eye of the Allfather. Um, when last we left our heroes, they were flying around on the uh, Golden Iris back from the, uh, the Unfilled Square, which is the camp of the Fire Giants. And uh, Brave Nurum and Ezekiel rescued uh, Lord Portico from the uh, from the clutches of two fire giant dreadnoughts using some uh, some trickery and uh, a little bit of um, darkness the, under the cover of darkness they uh, they swept Lord Portico from the clutches of the fire giants and since he is a very high level cloud giant he knows the spell uh, true polymorph and so he now has the uh, form of a normal human uh, and he is uh, he is waiting uh, for us to uh, to introduce him to the rest of the party, and then you guys are headed back to the Eye of the Allfather, which is the um, the filled-in square right here, which is the uh, temple uh, of Anam, the uh, the Allfather of the Giants, to uh, to solve the puzzle and to uh, to consult the Oracle to find out where Duke Zalto, the evil fire giant, is uh, currently hiding, and to uh, to go confront him. Have a beach towel in your back seat. Uh, I don't know. So, kind of a, anybody have anything to add before we uh, before we get uh, get going? My email had all the questions and answers we got in the last game. Cool. Um, Andrew, why don't we start with you? Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Ezekiel Stormshield. I am a level five storm cleric, uh, God Tempest. And a level one storm sorcerer. Uh, I wear full plate mail, carry warhammer and shield, and generally do these spell casty things in the party. Lies, lies, lies. He's a tank. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of that too. <laughs> Matt, you're next. <coughs> yes. <coughs> Sorry. I am Nurem Nightbeard. I am a level six barbarian dwarf. I'm carrying. Pretty badass uh, 
battle axe. <laughs> I uh, recently acquired a plus two gold breastplate that I'm pretty happy about. So sexy. Mm, gold breastplates. <laughs> <laughs> but are there nipples on it? Weird. That's the question. You made uh, it weird. <laughs> I probably etched a couple on there. <laughs> <clears throat> There's little circles where the nipples should be, but they're nice. not actually there. Uh, uh, even better. <sighs> Steve, you're next. There we go. Sorry, I had to unmute. Um, so I am uh, Keenrick. I'm an elven arcane trickster rogue. Uh, with a rapier and a bow. And, uh, yeah. Keenrick, not Kenrick? Have I been saying it wrong the uh, entire time um, we've been streaming? Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Close. <laughs> they're pretty much the same, right? Fair enough. All right. Owen, you're next. I'm not. I'm Fix. I am a level one fighter, level four warlock, um, running around in plate mail. I got a big glaive. I like to shoot things with lasers. You don't yeah. actually have lasers. Yeah, bullshit. Eldritch Blast is a laser. <laughs> it's an Eldritch yeah. Blast. It's not really a laser. It's fucking lasers. Let's <laughs> And have done. Um, uh, I'm the, I have a fae, fae pack. Uh, if you've ever read Dresden's Files, it's basically the character that I kind of modeled him off of was fixed the summer night. All right, cool. So you guys are on the ship, and you are headed toward the Eye of the Allfather. Lord Portico is hanging out with you guys, very grateful for having been uh, been saved and ready to assist slash answer your questions. Do you guys have any... Uh parlay slash talk you'd like to do with uh, with Lord Portico before we get back to the temple? Mm, can't think of anything myself. Yeah, we've covered quite a bit of stuff like, right before we I'm left. Like, Nurm and I did a lot of talking last game. A lot yeah. of talking. It's true. He even got confronted by a coaddle. <laughs> Was bump, bump. <laughs> the Kawato was kind of a douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> Called him out and Here everything. Now when I had the chance. And then so. he flew away. He bit me and flew away. All right. So we are going to get you guys back to the Eye of the Allfather. Let me get the player thing here. Roop. You're going to go to a tavern for a second while I move the scroll bar. Scroll bars. Yay. All right. So that's where you guys back are. back over or does it look like it did when we left? It looks uh, pretty similar to when you guys left. Um, there are a few extra bodies of the, uh, the Uthgart barbarians that you guys slaughtered last time you guys were here. Um, and there is also, um, as you enter through the, uh, through the archway there is the uh the unconscious form of a clearly alive yet um yet not uh, not exactly in the best of shape um half giant he's lying unconscious on the uh, in the on the floor somebody you've never seen before does he seem to be wearing the colors of the guys that we had to deal with last time the, no okay no he's does in he a he's in a loincloth and uh, and dark skin, and um, seems to be uh, you know sort of lost. Does he have sweet gang signs on him anywhere? He's covered with tattoos. <laughs> Do I recognize the gang signs? Um, you see the Knowledge symbol of you see signs. the symbol of Talus. Uh, oh, I heal that guy. <laughs> uh, tattooed on it on his right leg on the on the on his right uh, like. Uh, Shin. Not in love with the placement, but I'll move forward and heal him. It's on the front, not the back. I'm still iffy. I mean, a foot? Come on. The guy no, no, no. Shin. A foot. Shin. I, I'm just saying. Well, he's a half giant. giant. That's eye level. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I, I heal him for 10, so at least he's back up and running a little bit. Awesome. So, Will, you, uh, you come awake. Do I describe him for you guys? Sure. I totally just made that up. I have no idea yeah. what he really looks like. <laughs> nice. Okay. He's so... like a half Actually, he's a pixie. <laughs> no, he, he's 
definitely a half giant. Um, you see, <coughs> as he stands up after you have helped him, he gives you a curt nod, looks you dead in the eyes. As you look over him, you see a fairly tall, uh, muscular built warrior <sighs> covered in tattoos and scars. He's bald, has a scar over his left eye, and um, he has about a medium length black beard. I mean, this guy's and, obviously um, a bad guy. He has pale gray eyes. He extends his hand to you, which dwarfs yours by comparison. <laughs> uh, I smell him. <laughs> no, I shake his hand. All right. My Who are you and why are you here? I'm not sure. I was adventuring, but that's all you need to know. Obviously, you weren't doing a very good job of it. <laughs> kind of poke him. Is he fey? <laughs> Does it look like he got dropped out of the fey wild, maybe? I don't know. He seems a little out of it. <laughs> <coughs> he just stares at you. <laughs> awesome. Moving right along. All right, so the doors are no longer frozen shut, but they're closed. Okay. Um, you left them open, but uh, but they're they're closed now. All right, this is a bitch getting these things open. Nerm, come flex some muscles. This new guy might have some strength. I don't know. Yeah, I can do it. As Maul sees these guys walk towards the door, he follows them, waits to see what they do. All right. uh, strength check, try to get that door open. Yep, DC 15. I'm going to give him guidance, so add an extra D4. Sweet. Uh. Yeah, you did good. You done uh, the good, doors kid. are wide the fuck open. <laughs> you, that's your yeah, strength. Excuse me while I whip this out. That was. Or I guess. Uh, well, yeah, I'm proficient in strength as well. So that's right, there you go. Yeah. Oh, so 28 oh, oh, doors are yeah. wide the fuck open. So as you come in, <laughs> this uh, is what we keep him around. Good door knocker. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, as you walk in, the uh, there's a slowly sloping causeway um, that kind of comes up to a big set of double doors that Nurum just pushed wide open. Um, along the causeway are 20-foot walls, um, and on the top of those walls are a, um, a set of uh, ledges. And those ledges have uh, niches that go back into the, um, into the walls uh, that, are, that have... Um, torch light coming out of them. Um, as the double doors open, you see seven statues. Three to your left, three to your right, and one in the middle. Uh, the one in the middle is 40 feet tall uh, and takes up a 20-foot diameter of the, uh, the middle of the room. It's a big fucking room. Um, the three statues on the left are all giants. Uh, they are the giant gods um, that are representative of... Um, three of the of the types of giants and then the ones on the right are also uh, representative of three of the other types of giants um, in the middle the middle giant um, between the middle giant and the and the last giant and between the first giant and the middle giant are a set of double doors on each wall so there are four sets of double doors uh, on there are two on the left and two on the right and then at the end of the of the room on the back wall directly behind the uh the biggest statue is this portal that you see right here um each one of these uh runes is uh sort of gently glowing and the middle of the um the middle of the of the portal is uh, is is it like a sort of a hazy sort of shadowy uh area that uh that you uh that you can't really see beyond. Don't worry, Kenrick. Last time we did all the thiefy stuff, like summon a fucking rain of acid and shit like that. So <laughs> obviously, we had this covered. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was kind of a kind of a bad deal. 
<laughs> it was great. Yeah, that was fun. Apparently. <laughs> Sneakiest members of the party. <laughs> so what happened last time with this? Don't touch the symbols. Yeah. If you're not a giant. Otherwise, <laughs> bad shit stuff. Happens. <laughs> yeah. Harsh Knight was with him last time. Uh, turn that um, guy on for us. Yeah, what happened to him? Harshnag uh, went off into the into the wilds. He got his ass kicked. Exactly. Well, that's nice. Well, since we were left to adventure alone, it was not right. Not good for Harshnag. Jerk. <laughs> are you, for, Steve? Are you familiar with the out of character? Are you familiar with the store with the spell Storm of Vengeance? I am not. It's a ninth level conjuration. It's sort of a motherfucker. It does not sound friendly. It was not. <laughs> it was really not very friendly at all. But that's what happened to the guys last time when they tried to fuck with the portal. Yeah. Well, okay then. Oops. Yeah. There. We touch stuff. Did you just like randomly start touching things? That's what he yeah. does. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, that, that was a serious question. I felt like some teenage boy on his first date. I don't know what I'm doing. It was the thunder rune. I have the thunder hammer thing. I yeah. thought for sure I was cool. I was less cool than I thought. If I place the hot thunder hammer in the thunder hole. Do these match the rune that I have? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are for giants to touch, not people. We got to explain that later. People touching it's a bad scene. Did you try touching it with your item? No. Would that have been Please stop giving him ideas. <laughs> Do you want me to? You have a sword. Do you? <laughs> I'm not trying. Sure. Step away from Ezekiel. <laughs> Nurm's gonna go in the other room. <laughs> I'm just gonna be over here. You guys seem to have experience with this. So <clears throat> you guys just hear the doors close, and Nurm is now on the other side of them. <laughs> Which hallway did you go down? Is there a chance that Sisyphus's boulders coming after his dumb ass? Not yet. So wait, like the entrance doors closed or yeah. one of the side doors? I don't know. Okay. Nurem, if you really want to do that, yeah, you can. But... It's, nah. but then I'm just going to wait here for someone to come get me because I cannot open these doors. There's a statue yeah. of Sisyphus essentially <laughs> pushing a boulder out that comes in Indiana Jones is the crap out of you. <laughs> Shockingly, like my minus two reflex save did not help me get out of the way. Oh. So, what are we trying to do now? Go talk to the Oracle and ask questions like, "Where is Daltor?" Gotcha. In the, not Daltor, oh. Daltor. And the Oracle's through this portal, or? Yeah, the Oracle through the portal, but the giant of the corresponding type with the runes has to ask us or get us in or whatever. Last time we had a harsh nag touch the frost giant guy. Gotcha. So have you already been to the Oracle then? Is that... We did. We got seven questions and I think we asked very wise questions other than how many questions do we have? Yeah. But, oh, six like... questions. Sorry. You're just <laughs> correcting me. Other than asking how many questions we had, we were pretty much spot on. But we did not think to ask where is Zoltar because we got some information about where Portico was and that Zoltar was holding Portico. So we assumed that Zoltar was holding Portico. He was obviously where Portico was. So why ask a redundant question? And, then and, the Codal luckily came out and mocked us and told us that we had no idea where Zoltar was. So, oops. <laughs> Basically what Andrew so, just said. Gotcha. Exactly. Do we, I was there. Do we know if that was like three questions per person or... Uh, no, there's torches for each of the giant types, and when you ask a question, the torches go out. It didn't mas matter if it was me or Nurum asking the questions. We kind of yeah. took turns. So can you, can you just like leave and come back and get six more? I, we did not try that, Steve. This is the second time we've been here. If somebody wants to roll a history or religion or arcana, I can probably give you some more information about how the torches work. I mean, I can give religion a whirl. I'm going to cast Guidance on this as well. You don't know shit. <laughs> nope. That's real bad. 
What are we doing? Arcana? There was history, arcana, or religion. So. Yeah, I'm not proficient in any of those, so you guys have fun. Dude, well, you're our other spellcaster. You suck at spellcasting. Does that only apply to people that were there, I assume? Since no, you could you can never... try. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I mean, they just explained to you guys... everything that happened, so you can uh, you can give it a shot. Steve, you get three from my guidance. Steve, hey, Bob. Bob. Yeah, okay. give these guys some help. So we've determined the torches are sticks that are on fire so far. <laughs> <laughs> Seems about I right. Steve, fix. Are you going to bring Bob to bear on this problem? I feel like that's everything. Hell yes, I am. <laughs> Why did you stuff me in that bloody sack? You had your book. You were fine. I, I I did, but don't put me back in that godforsaken sack. <laughs> Show me what you want well, me you to see. You don't really have like a snap-on function from like my belt, so you can make me that. a loop, damn it! <laughs> Just stop saying sack so much. <laughs> yeah. Show me the thing. Yeah, that's the point about the thing. All right, so you see some gold. Uh, sorry, Will. Have, are you familiar with the Dresden Files at all? I've heard a little bit about it. So in the Dresden Files, um, Harry has a Harry Dresden main character has a talking skull that is a spirit of intellect. Gotcha. Um, Fix picked that up in a uh, as part of Cloud Giant's bargain. Um, we sort of ran that as part of this, and so now he has a talking skull that can help him yeah, with things, and his name Bob's is Bob. Skull. Gotcha. Well, so congratulations then. <laughs> yeah, um, the uh, the skull's eye lights flicker a little bit. You see, kind of the uh, the lasers come out and scan the uh, you know the full R two D two kind of scan on the on the forty foot high um, par portal. It says, "Spin me around. Let me see what else is here." Oh, this is gonna get awkward. <laughs> I start pacing around and kind of letting them peruse everything. Well, there's a giant. What kind what? of giant are you? He's talking to them all. Mm. <laughs> That's, That's a giant. He looks like an awfully small giant. Ah, so you're a hill giant. <laughs> Very well. You should probably be able to go over and pick up one of those, uh, one of the weapons from uh, from the hill giant uh, from Memnor, and uh, and touch it to the hill giant rune. The hill giant rune is the. Uh, now let me see the portal again. Spin around. Spin it's, the, again. it's the swirly one with the with the squiggle. I don't even know why we say portico now. Maul just narrows his eyes at this thing because he doesn't like it one bit. It talks too much for him. <laughs> 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 then he looks over to whatever it told him to get. It's the boulder, right? Yeah, it's uh, no. Thing? It's a, there's six stat. There are seven statues in the room. Each one representing uh, each one of the types of giants: hill, storm, fire, cloud, um, stone, and uh, frost. And then there's a hill giant statue that has um, the hill giant statue is Gor Grolantor, and he's carrying a bone great club. And the one that they're actually pointing to on the chat there is the uh, the cloud giant rune. Um, so I'm going to have you roll an intelligence check to make sure that you know that that's not the uh, that's not the hill giant rune. It's actually the one on the bottom left, not the bottom right. <laughs> and then we'll see if you guys get boned again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Because it's not really are cool sure, if you are, touch are, are the are wrong you sure rune. Intelligence I give him guidance. Good. Okay, cool. So slash really roll make sure d20, that... and if I remember right, when we were talking before, your intelligence is 11. Is that right? Yeah. So you get plus zero to your roll. Is it a capital D or a lowercase? The group. It doesn't matter. Slash okay. roll and then space d20 oh. plus two. Because <clears throat> Ezekiel gave you guidance. Praise Talos. Praise Talos. Praise, praise him. All right, so oh, you know snap. <laughs> your uh, your Part extensive of knowledge of uh, giant runes lets you know that you want to grab the great club and touch the rune on the bottom left. 
the one that somebody very clearly marked <coughs> Hill. Kill. Kill, yeah. <laughs> okay. Maul nods curtly again, walks over, grabs the club, and just jabs it into the rune. Um, the <laughs> tip of the bone great club is going to break off a little bit. And uh, the middle of the portal is going to change from gray to blue. And uh, Ezekiel and Nurum, you guys remember that that's what it looked like last time it was open. Do it. <clears throat> Does he have all kinds of, like, ragged shit on him, Maul? Is he, like, tattered and fucking stuff? Nah, all he has is, like... He has a robe. <laughs> but he like has, a like, a robe with torn-off sleeves. Yeah, and, why are you um, not looking at cast mending on your sleeves? Bitch, you got <laughs> sleeves again. He's got sleeves again. Nice. <laughs> All right. Where did these come from? So who's uh, going through the portal? Well, so first, I'm going. Is the oracle just? Is the oracle like just on the other side? Yeah, yeah. Do we Don't want, ask any questions. Do we want to figure out our questions before we jump through? And I mean, where's Zoltar? I was just gonna jump through, but okay. <laughs> Do you have other questions, Steve? I don't know. We've got we've got six to ask, right? While they're right. talking, Maul just sets down the uh, bone club and leans it against the wall. We I came up with Nurum. The two of us yeah. came up with six questions by ourselves. You figure some questions out. <laughs> There's uh, the fire jet or the fire elemental guy. What was yeah, his? it's a primordial. We know where he is. We know we can't beat him, and we know that Zoltar has a jar that we could capture it in potentially. Read my fucking write up, douche. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I sent you a write up. You know where Zalto I is. Out of love. For starters. The uh, the primordial, uh, the fire primordial is um, Megara, the Dawn Titan. Oh, I'm going to look up my email, and I'm going to copy-paste it into there so Steve can read it, since obviously he didn't pay attention to anything I put together for him. <laughs> yeah. So you sent that email. We're doing stuff, Steve. Week or two ago? <laughs> We're doing stuff. I sent it directly after the game that you guys skipped. Mm. That's when I sent it. A week or two ago. <laughs> it's true. Um, my feelings are so hurt. Wait, do you mean the game that you. Steve specifically moved for Steve? Yeah, that we moved. So that Steve can yeah, make it. That game. And he okay. didn't show up. Look at his picture. All right. You're not making this better for Steve. So as you go um, through the portal, uh, you're going to see uh, a hexagonal room. Um, and in each one of the uh, corners of the hexagon is a giant. And the giants are holding... Uh, torches and each one of the torches is lit and um, the ceiling comes to a point but it is clearly very far underground um, there is a circle inscribed in the floor um, and inside that circle is a the dead body of a cloud giant who is no longer wearing Don't his worry, plus we two are golden body. breastplate <laughs> I'm going to kind of stand behind Ezekiel here a little bit <laughs> in case he recognizes the <laughs> breastplate at all. <laughs> the guy who looted his body. <laughs> he's not He's not pissed about it at all. <laughs> nice. Paranoia. I mean, you also stole his gem, too, just so you know. Yeah. He, he just I was ready to leave that body it. alone. And so you guys were like, yeah, steal that body. I was like, okay. <laughs> Upon seeing this, yeah. Maul well, sits like, his we hands together and bows to the dead body. Paying it respect. All right. So, so the ghost of the oracle named Irigon is going to uh, sort of float up and become incorporeal, but clearly visible in front of you guys. He's going to cross his arms and look at you. Wait, did we step through already? Yeah, we started stepping through. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are in the in the chamber of the Oracle. Mm -hmm. Steve, ask some questions. Get on it. All stares at uh, the apparition and nods respectfully. You're going to hear... Do any of you... Who speaks giant? 
Negative. Yeah, nobody, remember? Like, literally nobody. I Unless did. it's Faye or Common, <laughs> I got Jack. Ask your questions. Where is Zaltar? That's his name, right? Zaltar. Zalto. Zalto. Where is Lord Zalto? It's Zaltar. I thought, I thought you asked that last time. No, we asked no, the we other giant. And they were trying to we rescue Lord Portico. That, we were told that Zalto Portico was, was holding Portico. So we assume by holding Portico, we actually meant holding like he was there. That's like a hammer? Wrong. Yeah. So where is Duke Zalto? Seek out the village of the Yak Folk. Neat. Duke Zalto lies in his stronghold of Iron Slag. Yay, typing. One of the uh, one of the torchlights go out. How that many was, questions do we have? <laughs> don't say that. Shut up, Bob. I'm punch somebody. I don't remember if we know where Iron Slag is. We do not. No, we do not. But we knew he was at Iron Slag. <laughs> yeah, we already knew that he was there. Hmm. I have no idea what you guys haven't have an asked net. Even after looking at the email. I, uh, where is Iron Slag? Iron Slag lies hidden in the mountains near... Um, and I forget the name of the city. Hang on. Nope. Not that one. Wrong map. Sorry. Near Ventilla. Hidden in the mountains near Ventilla. Right. Wait. Clarification. <laughs> near Ventilla, Ventilla being the name. Of or the near Ventilla the is the name. The name of the city. The name of the city that it's near is Ventilla. Okay. You guys, you guys, that that's not from the Oracle. That's from me as a GM. You guys know where Ventil is. It's on the other map that you just can't see. Okay. Right now. Make sure. So we, right, Kendrick, we what you got, buddy? That's that's a city on the map, Rick. Yes. Yeah. It's a it's a city on the on the map that we've been playing with. Here, I can move you guys to it real quick. Hang on. Good map. That's a tavern. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so it's either here. Those So how do we find Iron Slag? 40 foot tall iron doors in the side of the mountain beneath a village of yak folk. You must climb the stairs. And enter through the village. Sorry, not 40 feet, 400 feet. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> That'll be a little easier to see. 400 foot tall iron doors should be kind of a giveaway. Well, at that point, we can we can see it from the uh, airship then. And the, the Oracle gets a little bit of sass and says, hashtag just saying. <laughs> Bob, you seem to be wearing off on people. So there's three torches left. Yes. Are we trying to kill Zalto? Clarification I mean, party. Trying. So Definitely. we know that Zalto is working for a higher power. That's this weird dragon that's the trying to do dragon. some shit. 
Yeah, because the, the Bowden toad is like a it's like a red herring. Yeah. Mm. Seems like his real goal is to try to capture the fire primordial or do something with the fire primordial. Or just cause chaos and make us look the other way while the dragon does something cool. We we really don't know. Okay. The dragon is kind of the um the real bad guy maybe? The I don't think we know guy? what the blue dragon is right now. But we are trying to stop Zolto. We are, yeah. Zolto first. Zolto is the primary. The secondary is the uh, his primary. But um, um. Uh, <clears throat> Ask your questions. The portal will soon close. I want to ask about the uh, location of Amareth myself. But... Go ahead. Where is I do not know. And okay, none so of that... the lights go out for questions he doesn't know. Okay. Well, that's all I had. <laughs> How real of a threat is Amarin? Amareth? The blue dragon. Jeez. She seeks to sow chaos throughout all of the realms and leave the ordning destroyed. Threat level should be considered <coughs> highest. All right. So we're not ready to take this thing on yet, I bet. Maul takes a step towards the Oracle. Oracle. Please. Let me know if you've heard anything of my daughter, Pharaoh. I do not know. He steps back. Two lights left, guys. Um, Come on, oh, you got to have something. I asked mine. He didn't know. So, yeah, how, do, um, how do we find Emerith? I already asked that. Yeah. So no, you, you asked, asked where, where is, is she? she? Oh, he doesn't know, know where she is. Fair enough. Emerith well, is sowing her chaos in Maelstrom, the hold of around, the Storm abruptly. Giant Kings. Maul turns around abruptly and starts walking towards the portal. Okay, you going back through? Yes. Yeah. All right, Maul disappears from the uh, through back through the portal. We got Uno Mas if anybody wants to ask something. Um. Does Duke Zoltan have a weakness? Or I guess his what wife. is his weakness? Ooh, there you go. Zolto's wife. Hectors him relentlessly and seeks to overthrow him from within. Oh my god, Zalto. I so want to be queen. Ugh. You can't even fire giant right. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and seriously, right. out of character, that's the way that his wife is written in the book. Like, Amazing. just nagging constantly. Like, why can't you find the rest of the pieces? When is this stupid thing going to be put together? Like, oh my god. I just want to go and buy some more shoes and go to the parties <laughs> and look <laughs> fabulous and... <laughs> it was hilarious. Sad. Out of character. Do they already know about the ordning? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah everybody yep. knows about the ordning. I have a PDF. Maul waits for <laughs> the one who uh, healed him to step through. I mean, I assume we go back through, right? Everybody's yeah. done. Yeah, all that was the last out. question. And we're done. All right, I head on out. Cool. Small one. You asked me why I was here. Yep. When the ordering broke, my daughter disappeared. I have been searching for her. It's interesting. We're here on an errand because a nephew of a fire giant disappeared as well. We found out he was killed, but 
Do we know of any other giant types that have had uh, children stolen? Rick, you haven't heard anything about that. Um, there have um, been... I'm going to ask Portico when we get closer to Portico, because he's obviously... Yeah, Lord type. Portico's around. Um, he came down off of the ship, but... Um, He's going to he's going to come over to you guys and say, um, "Did you find out where the conch is?" Conch. I don't even know conch. What that is. It's um, the shell that uh, all I of the giant lords are hiding, um, and it's how they uh, how they communicate with King Hecaton. Hmm. We did not find that out. And how are you going to get to the maelstrom? We One were thing going at a time. to go to the Iron Slag. Oh, you're going after Zalto. Should we Good. be going to the Maelstrom as upset? Well, I'm, I'm super confused now. So <laughs> Zalto is sort of a low-level functionary. Zalto is kind of a dick, but he's not the one who's really screwing things up. Um, right, it's the Blue Dragon, right? Right. Is that what you're saying? Right. Right, but... We were also under the impression that Zalto was the one that possibly killed uh, Daltor's nephew, though. He yes, he could potentially yeah. have been the one who killed Daltor's nephew. But um, we're also going. You're also going to want to figure out where King Hecaton is, because he, in my opinion, he's the only one who can restore the Ordning and uh, and bring the realms back into in into a. Um, a state of, of tranquility. Zal or well. Zalto likes to sow chaos, but he works for Imrith. Uh, Imrith is the one who's trying to, who I believe, is the one who has um, either sent away or maybe disabled or done something to King Hecaton. Um, I, I, I'll deny it if you ever say it outside of this room, but um, I don't trust her. All right, somebody's going back in to find out where the conch shell is and maybe even where Hecaton is. I know if you go to Iron Slag, somewhere in there, there's a conch, there's a conch shell, conch shell um, that Zalto is <laughs> hiding. Um, so do you know where Iron Slag is? Yeah, it's by a yak yeah. village. Don't trust those yak. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Those motherfuckers so are evil. Have, so we have the ship back. That now. sounds racist. Evil yaks. Yes. Captain yes, Tobias and the ship are uh, are waiting outside the eye of the Allfather for you guys. That's how you got here. Gotcha. How are we doing on walkie talkies? Um. Oh, yeah, the walkie-talkies. That hasn't not changed been since the game at my house. Yeah, it's not even been a week. So, Zaltos is what type of giant again? He's a fire giant. Okay. Um, okay, I mean, I feel like we can go to Iron Slag. What do you guys think? Do you want to go back in and ask about the conch shell? I mean, I think Portico can use his <coughs> weapon on the side to get us in the one more time. The portal's still open. I mean, we can go in 75 times for all I care. but. <laughs> so if you go back in there, you're going to see that all the lights are still out. And uh, you're not going to be able to ask any more questions. Um, okay, then. The, we probably uh, need to find another giant. And we might have to do it every day. Then touch yeah. the, rune. The, um, the lights are going to stay out until dawn. So what do you want to do, Kenrick? Um... I don't know. So where where is this? Where are we on the map? We're the colored in square with the weird arrow that kind of says temple. Gotcha. We're one. We want to go to the black star that's about two inches north of that. Ventilla. Yep. So did uh, did the captain not drop off? One of the sending stones at the dam. He did. Yeah, yes. he did that. Okay. So that part has changed at least. He did that um, while 
for, while Harshnag and the and Nurim and Ezekiel and the rest of we you went to the uh, the Eye of yeah. the All Father. Then he picked he yeah. picked them up and uh, and took them to the camp where uh, where Lord Portico was being held. Yeah, yeah everything was, is dropped off. We have no new ones. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought that's what he was doing first. So. Yeah, it was. Just okay, cool. Um, yeah, I guess we should head up. Uh, we should probably just head up to Ventilla, right? Yeah, you know, I mean, apparently we can always use this. Now we got a giant hanging out with us, so life's easier on that end. Yeah. So Lord Portico places his hand on on Nurum's uh, shoulder, and says, "Nurum, do you feel that?" Do I feel it? Fuck you! You just happened to see me. <laughs> Bad touch. <laughs> what should I? What should I be feeling? You can feel it in the stone, can't you? The rumble. Oh yes. What? Do you feel that, that rumble? And you guys sort of start to notice in your feet the the temple starts to shake a little bit. And then from nowhere, Harshnag comes in and says, Guys! Ezekiel! Kinrick! Fix! Nurum! Who the fuck are you? <laughs> you have to get out of here. You have to get out of here now. Okay. What's Im- going? Imrith is coming. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, shit. We should probably leave then. Okay. So, you guys, um, as you get back to the uh, to the front, um, you're going to, to see an ancient blue dragon sitting outside, um, currently attacking a nimbly dodging golden iris. Uh, Captain Tobias is using every trick in the book to uh, to keep the ship out of danger. Um, it's maybe I don't know four or five hundred feet in the air, um, kind of trying to stay out of the way. Um, and the blue dragon is is has its eyes set on uh, on on Harshnag, and it's uh, it's currently like really really pissed off. Oh shit! Uh, so uh, can ask. I mean, we're trying to get the fuck to the boat. I mean, is there a rope ladder? How are we getting to the boat? What's up? So Harshnag is going to take his axe and engage in in melee combat with the with the blue dragon, and say, "Guys, you got to get out of here! Run!" And you're gonna see the the golden iris kind of come down, but it's gonna be about I don't know, maybe five six hundred yards off. Uh, and it's got a rope ladder down, but it doesn't look like it's going to be there for very long. Um, real quick, intelligence check. Blue dragons are electric, right? Yes. Well, I'm pretty fucking useless on this one, so I'm just getting the hell out of here. Yeah. As soon as Harsh Nag says, run the second time, Maul starts darting towards the uh, ladder. Nothing is too powerful for Talos. Praise Talos. Yes. <laughs> All right, so you're going to need to make a successful either survival check or a uh-huh. dexterity check um, to navigate the rocky, snowy mountainside to get to the um, to get to the ship. Um, if you have another skill that you'd like to use, um, tell me why. And if you fail the first time, uh, we'll figure out something else for you to do. Um, so, can I use acrobatics instead of dexterity? Sure, absolutely. Um, Rick, do some, I'd uh, like to cast Jump on myself. Okay. And use athletics to just jump the fuck down this thing like a goat. Awesome. <laughs> I'm using my dex modifier. Cool. Looks like oh, uh, looks like Kenrick is going to uh, to do a couple of cartwheels and um, maybe as he grabs the rope ladder, do like a ta da sort of a presentation <laughs> of his uh, of his extensive acrobatic skill. Rick, Char- I can jump fifty one feet at a time with this. Sweet. Um, so Andrew or Ezekiel, sort of uh, this just glee comes over your face. And you're going to jump 
like you've never jumped before. And rather than 50 feet because of the wind, you're going to jump twice. Uh, the first oh, time nice. you're going to jump 100 feet and sort of land like uh, like Neo on the Matrix with like your fist <sighs> down on the ground. And then the second time you jump, you're actually going to end up on the deck of the ship. When I end up on the deck of the ship, I have the uh, storm uh, vortex around me, so I slowly fall to the bottom. Awesome. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I really wish I wouldn't have put my sky of that cloud diamond in my weapon yet. Could have used that flight. <laughs> <laughs> Meh. Uh, oh well. Um, survival Did I check. Roll again? <laughs> Not yet. Damn it. So Nurum, you're going to slip and fall. Um, <laughs> you're going to um, you're going to get uh, you're going to get your foot caught in between a couple of stones. And Maul, you're going to um, you're going to come out of the uh, out of the doors of the temple. And as you started running, um, you were going to miss a spot of ice, and you're going to land on your ass and fall all the way down the stairs. <laughs> oh, that's gonna suck. Um, as you both do that, um, Nurum, roll a straight strength check. So just your strength modifier, but you're proficient in strength. Uh, so. Do uh, do your proficiency bonus too. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So you're going to wrench your uh, your foot out from between those two uh, stones and start slowly uh, on your little tiny dwarf legs, uh, <laughs> running towards the uh, towards the rope ladder. Um, mm -hmm. Maul, uh, roll a a straight dex check. So dex plus uh, just d20 plus your dex mod. <coughs> Are you proficient in deck saving throws? I think so. Let me check yeah. the. Somebody have a uh, player's handbook open? I can, yeah. I think barbarians are constitution and strength. Or what class is he? He's I a monk. I'm a monk. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's proficient in dex. Yeah, so yeah. dex plus your proficiency. So three plus four, seven. So d20 plus seven. Okay. What is Portico doing? Portico is uh, is he changed back into his um, form as a, of a cloud giant, and he is currently with Harshnag trying to keep the dragon away from you guys. He's got a big like morning star that he's swinging in futility. All right, so Will, you're um, you're going to. Um, when you get to the bottom of the stairs, you're going to kind of roll a couple of times and then spring up onto your feet and start taking giant steps towards the, uh, towards the rope ladder. As you get to the, um, to the base of the rope ladder, they're not going to be sure that, uh, that they're going to be able to hold someone of your weight on the, uh, on the rope ladder. So make a, another dexterity check. So just roll the same thing again. Okay. If you hit the up arrow, one, I'll have it saved. If you hit the up arrow, it'll, okay, cool. So, uh, so yeah, I give 15, 17. Yep. So what that's going to do, you're going to, you're going to scurry up the ladder and, uh, and it's going to, it's going to start to fray a little bit, but, uh, you were quick enough. You got, uh, you got up onto the deck. I cast mending on the rope where it's fraying. Nice. And then, uh, Harshnag is going to, is going to yell, go, go. And Portico is going to cast flight on himself and, uh, and come back up onto the deck of the ship with <laughs> you guys and say, Harshnag is a valiant warrior. Uh, I know he can handle, uh, handle himself. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> You're going to see, um, the ancient blue dragon, um, using its, its breath weapon, um, against the, uh, against Harshnag and Harshnag is going to go down to one knee. His head is, is cracked open. His helmet is gone. His nose is bleeding. He's going to shake his ax at the, uh, at the dragon, hit it one more time and then just get electrocuted and blown away. His body's going to flop limpless, lifelessly limp against the, uh, against the doors of the temple. And you guys kind of fade off into the uh off into the sunset well, that sucks. 
dragon following us? It says, yeah. No, um, the dragon is not following you. The dragon is uh, licking its wounds. So the dragon <laughs> cut out? Dragon left. It's All right, I tell uh, Captain Tobias, get me back down. I got to make sure uh, Harshnag's alive. Harshnag's dead. Captain yeah, Tobias not with the Vivify, baby. I got him. Get me down there. All right, he's going to uh, to turn the ship around, and uh, if you want to go on back down, go on back down. Okay, I go back down. I'm blowing my gem and casting Revivify. As long as he's dead within the last one minute, he comes back with one hit point. He's going to come back. Us. He's going to look up at you. I got you, baby. Is he then healed? I grab onto the rope ladder and I point upwards and have the ship pull me away. To the chopper. <laughs> Are you going to leave Harshnag behind with one hit point? Or is uh, he coming with you? Yeah. Come on. Get on the boat. He's going to... He's going to wave you off and say, Ezekiel, thank you for your help. I'm going, to, I'm going to go inside the temple and heal myself. Well, um, I'm going to rest. Quick bonus action healing word since I can probably throw a bonus action around and I don't actually have to touch him. That gives him five hit points, just a little something, something to go on the way. You're still not dead yet. Thank you. Not dead, baby. Not dead. Oh, no, we lost Will. <laughs> Um, so Harshnag is going to going to say thank you. I will say a prayer to Talus and thanks for you. Um, cool. And he's going to kind of like drag his leg and and go back into the temple and go to sleep. Sorry cool. about that. My internet's been hiccuping lately. No worries. All you really missed was Ezekiel healing Harshnag and him waving him off and saying, no, 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 I'm just going to go sleep it off. I think I can handle this. <laughs> so Harshnag is going to go try to sleep it off in the temple. I am both the resurrection and the life today. Awesome. Praise Talos. <laughs> Sweet. So where are you guys headed? To, uh, the, to the map. Oh. Yeah. Well, we're going to. Uh, are we going to the Yak Town, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Into. Cool. Uh, while we're going, I'm going to try to see if I can get <laughs> another 300 gold gem from uh, the captain, and I will pay him the 300 gold for it. Sure. Cool. Maul uh, sits on the deck of the ship and rips off his sleeves again. I fixed them. Best I game ever. <laughs> This, this time when he uh, rips off uh, the sleeves, you see a um, purple mark on his shoulder. Like a tattoo or a scar? Your daughter beats you, didn't she? <laughs> it's a mark. <laughs> Let, let's, let's just go with it. It's a mark. I mean, I got medicine, so I can tell if it's a scar or not. <laughs> Is it like a brand or... Yeah, it's a brand. Or is like Coca-Cola uh, or Pepsi? Is he damaging himself when he tries to rip the sleeves again? <laughs> no, no. If you, if you know anything about monks, that would can classify him as a marked monk. Ah. Fair enough. Right on. You're in? All right. So as you guys head towards Ventilla, you are going to be attacked in the... Um, in the same, in a very similar fashion to the way you were attacked before, um, you're going to see some guys, and they're going to be riding some griffins, and they're going oh, to fuck. jump onto the uh, onto the deck of the ship. And, you know, Yancey Bin, Yancey Bin. How killed the you weather, guys, Rick? How's the weather? It's uh, <laughs> it's pretty clear right now. Cool. No. I mean, there's, I mean, you guys are way the fuck up in the air, so it's pretty cloudy, but. Uh, you know, it's, uh, there's no, like, they're all, it's, you know, blue sky. Is that getting ready to change? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Everybody roll initiative. I actually don't know what my initiative modifier it's, is. It's uh, d20 Your plus dexterity. your dex. Okay. 
so that would make it a two. <laughs> that would. Wasn't well, that just glorious? No. Unfortunate. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm feeling fast. Way to go, Kenrick. <laughs> I dare anyone to be slower than me. I don't know. I got close. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So we have. <laughs> <laughs> I get minus two to this, guys. Come on. Uh. Or, uh, Ezekiel, are you going first? Oh, yeah. <laughs> embarrassing for all Out of, of you. us. Yeah. All of what are we talking about? I had the best roll ever. <laughs> Just so fast. <laughs> Me and Nurum had the same freaking thing. Yeah. No, it's fine. Um, so, see, Ezekiel, and then um, Fix is a six, but Nurum has a plus two and plus two. Um, roll off, guys. Nurum and uh, Maul, roll again. Okay. It's not going to be, you guys are still going to be in the same initiative order as if you had rolled a seven, but whoever is, all right, so Nurum. And then, um, Maul. And then Fix. And then Kinnerick. And then Cultist number one are going to go there. And then Cultist number two are going to go after Ezekiel. All right, so the crew is going to run in fear, but uh, Captain Tobias will be here if you need him. Um, Lord Portico is just going to giggle. Um, you guys got this, right? And uh, he's going to stand back and watch as you guys obliterate these uh, these cultists. So um, the first round of uh, cultists are the – there are three bandits – and uh, then the, the second round of cultists are going to be their captain. Um, so they are going to let's see D20 plus five. The first one is going to attack you, Nurum, and it's going to miss horribly. The second one is going to attack Fix. 13 oh, no. does not hit your armor class. Nope. And the f last one is going to attack Kinrick. Does a 15 hit your armor class? Uh, no, it's a 16. All right, so Ezekiel, you are up. You've Art. seen your uh, you've seen your allies be attacked, but uh, these are obviously very poor fighters uh, who are the cultists, and they are not uh, not successful in their attacks. Are any of them grouped together within five feet of each other? They're all um, attacking their um, their their targets, um, but they're all kind of. You know they're all they're all sort of together. Um, Kenrick and Nurum and Fix are within uh, five feet of each one of their attackers, who are within fifteen feet of each other. So they're all kind of spread out a little bit. Okay, they're within fifteen. Um, is the leader still on his dragon? No, the leader is uh, is is kind of um, on the forecastle of the of the ship, um, and he's getting ready to come at you. Um, he's okay. uh, he's maybe twenty thirty feet away from you. The other way. Um, I, I go ahead and I am going to charge the leader. Okay. And I am going to cast my good friend Thunderwave on him as I get up there. And I'm going to make it a level three. Cool. That's a deck save? That is a con save for half. Con save. All right. So he has plus two for his con and he is going to fail miserably. All right, and I'm going to make it max damage with my channel Divinity. Nice. So he gets 48 max damage. He takes 32 damage. That hurts. And he gets pushed 10 away from me while I rise up on a cloud of air and fly back 10 feet. Cool. You said 48 and 32. How much damage does he take? 32. It was 4d8. Ah, okay. Yeah, gotcha. I had a map so fast. Gotcha. He is hurting. Dude, we just did like the sumo belly bump. Only I won by a lot. 
he is uh, going to have to make a dex check to see if he falls off the boat. Okay. He's going to succeed on his dex check, and his uh, his legs are going to kind of like come up against the railing. He's going to grab on and steady himself, but he is he's not feeling great at all. Cool. Um, he is kind of pissed at you right now, um, but his movement so is only 30 feet, and he is uh, – you pushed him back 10 or 15? 10, and then I flew 10 away. And you flew 10 the other – so you're only 20 feet away, so he is going to run at you screaming like a – just a wild person. Yahtzee, Ben! I'm going to kill you, motherfucker! And he is going to attack you. And he is going to have plus seven to hit. And does a 19 hit your armor class? It doesn't. Then he is going to take his uh, scimitar and he is going to swing at you and it's going to like skitter off of one of your uh, pauldrons and fly up some sparks, but it's not going to hurt you at all. I wink at him and blow him a kiss. <laughs> cool. Nurum, you have a cultist in your face. What would you like to do? Oh. I will hit that cultist's face. <laughs> See if you can hit that cultist's face first. I -o. Right in his I brutal in face. It's I ugly. In it's so ugly. I believe you, I can fly. Yeah, this is the... yeah, remember to apply the gem here. So yeah. <laughs> like a ball. I'm assuming that hits. Yeah. Thunk. You guys missed it, but Nurm became very scary last game. Very <laughs> fucking scary. I was also rolling for a side dwarf, and I kept on getting crits with him, too. So <laughs> Somehow <laughs> Matt amazing, has decided to hack the Roll20 um, dice roller <laughs> interface to crit like 70% of the time. We dubbed him <laughs> Sir Crits a lot last time. <laughs> yeah. It was fucking ridiculous. Did he also hack <laughs> physics for the last live game? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Jack <laughs> dice. As well. Dude, dice are ridiculous. Tell me how you kill him, Nurum. I said I was aiming for his face, so <laughs> split oh, right God. down. Middle. <laughs> so your dumb. axe just like embeds in his skull, yeah. and you see this like gristly, just it's it's a bad scene. Just, yeah. I mean, he sort of flops down dead, and you wrench your axe out and just ah, barbarian rage scream. Right. Oh, um, you know, that. That Sorry. takes both attack. Like, I don't get a second attack if it's all... It has to be the same target, right? No, you can you move can and attack move. again. Yeah. Oh, then I do the second attack on one right next to him, then. There's one in front of Kinrick and one in front of Fix. Which one do you want to attack? Go the one in front of Kinrick. Okay. You're gonna <laughs> just... Yep. Tell me how you kill him. Uh, oh exact same God. thing. <laughs> just, but from behind this time, right? Right. So yeah, he like, was totally not expecting. Embed it right into the second guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's like totally caught off guard, right in the back of the head, just flops forward, um, d d dead. Just clearly, <laughs> just obliterated, dead. All right, Maul, you are next to act. There is nobody near you. You are about 20 feet away from uh, Fix and about 20 feet away from uh, Ezekiel and the bandit captain. What would you like to do? I am going to charge the bandit captain, first of all, charge storm towards him. And I'm going to attempt to grab him by the throat and slam him into the ground. Awesome. Roll to attack. So uh, that's D20 what my plus your proficiency plus your strength. Okay, so that would be... As a monk, you get strength or dexterity, depending on what you want. I'm, I'm strength, because I'm a hill giant. <laughs> Makes sense. That's fair. <laughs> so you said plus proficiency plus strength modifier? D20 plus oh. uh, should be plus seven. No, it's six. Six? Okay. Yeah, D20 I plus think. six. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's six, unless my math is wrong. Either way, you're not going to have a tough time hitting this guy. Uh... <coughs> you got it. So Boom. roll uh, D4 plus four. Four. 
Or is that the basic attack for unarmed? Because I was looking at the monk table with him with him being level five would be one D six. Okay, yeah, yeah so D six plus monk. four. And then because I'm part hill giant I get an extra D four of damage. So D six, D four plus four. Yep. Is there a good way of typing all that out in this interface? What's that? Yeah, you can just, you can just type in like D6 plus D4 plus. Yeah, yeah, you can just type it in. Really? What? Put a space oh, between uh, D6 oh, okay. and D4. Yeah. Okay. Or a plus sign. Plus sign, yeah. Put a plus sign between the D6 and the D4. There you go. There you go. So you're going to do 10 damage and you're going to like pin him against the pin him against the deck. He's going to be prone and he's going to, I'm going to, because you rolled so well on your attack, he's going to be grappled as well. Um, and so... with my bonus action. Okay. I am going to unarmed strike him in the chest, open palmed. Okay. So D four plus four. Okay. So the just take out the D six from your last thing. Okay. Wait, doesn't he get a full? Is wait, why is the D six out? Is it? Uh, yeah, no, it's the full thing. Oh yeah, that's right. Full. That's right. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, so just do the do the the previous roll again. <laughs> Ten more. All right. So he is really hurting. He's not dead yet, but he is prone and he is super hurt. Fix, you're up. He has a, uh, you have a cultist right in, right in your grill, trying to, uh, trying to kill you. Sorry, uh, Maul, did you have anything else you wanted to do? Um, I'm pretty sure with Monk, there is, I can spend a key point to do flurry of blows. Yes, you I'm can. Like... I'm it just gives you one extra attack on your uh, last attack as your bonus action. Okay, so you already so instead did of one, you get two as your bonus action. Yep. Okay, so roll to attack. Oh, fix. Yeah, you killed the guy, but hang on. So Maul, roll to attack again. The D twenty plus. Oh, six. the D twenty. Yeah. Okay. And it, as long as you hit, that'll be your damage roll. Okay. Yeah, you hit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you see the bandit captain against the deck just... And he's, like, bleeding from his nose and his ears starting to fall off. And he's in, he's in really, really rough shape. <laughs> Out of character, he has three hit points left. Um, Jim, Rick, I think it's time for you to come kill Steel. <laughs> Apparently. Fix. Kill Steel. Kill Steel. Kill Steel. I was kind of hoping I didn't have to uh, even take part in the battle. You don't. You can You can, You can. can pass. Uh, fix, tell no, me how you kill the guy in front of you. Uh, does it, I assume my first attack kills him then? Yeah, your first attack just obliterated him. Like, he's yeah. a bloody mess. <laughs> Um, we'll go with, uh, a quick beheading. A, a gentle beheading. <laughs> very gentle, very whisper, whisper. He doesn't even feel it until he tries to move. <laughs> he feels like, wait, what? Oh, crap. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, 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 crap. And now he doesn't have a head. Oh, no. Head. Kinrick. Oh, no. Um, Unless fixed it, Sorry. Fix, did you have anything else you want to do? You're about 40 feet away from uh, from the bandit captain and getting uh, just a – like, he, he is toast. I mean, I guess I'll close to the captain, but I'll, it's more of like – kind of like, ooh, 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 who's going to kill him? Ooh, I want to be here for it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. Ooh. Kendrick, tell me how you face <laughs> this dude. Well, assuming I hit – Oh, please let him miss, like, terribly. Ah! Oh, you God. miss! No, I'm kidding. You hit. There we go. Um, and what's... Oh, yeah. I guess uh, definitely going to kill him, right? 
Yes, you're definitely going to kill him. <laughs> I think I get sneak attack damage on that, but it doesn't matter. You do. He's, grand, he's prone. He's granting combat advantage. Yeah. And there's someone adjacent to him. So. There's lots of somebody there's adjacent someone. to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Steve, you don't need to roll. We know you kill him. Just tell us what you do. Rolling, hey. Steve. Stop rolling. What do you mean, stop rolling? I, already, I rolled a long time ago. Yeah, tell me how you kill him. Oh, um, so that's with my bow. Um, I guess just arrow through the eye. Through the eye? Yeah. You shot him? Oh, yeah. you're such a bitch. He's so far away. I don't want to walk all the way over there. So Kenrick Steve. kind of like looks at you guys, sort of giggles under his breath. And pulls back his bowstring and just laces a, an arrow in between all of you. Um, you're not sure, but it may have done a little uh, wanted action and uh, bent around the uh, intervening humans. And it goes through his eye and just like sticks there. And then you see a little piece of paper fly out of the back of the arrow. It says Keenrick. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Maul, you had something to say? I, I was saying, how close did the arrow come to uh, hitting Maul? It was Not never close. a doubt. Okay. So as soon as um, the piece you. of paper, as soon as the paper, piece of paper comes out, Maul lets go of the uh, corpse's throat and takes a couple steps back. All right. I loot the bodies. <laughs> All right. So you're gonna find a few daggers. A uh, small uh, light crossbow and uh, several pieces of ammunition, um, but nothing, nothing super cool. No oh, orders, okay. no nothing that shows kind of what's going on here. Um, if you want to try to, uh, yeah, like search through them, you can find a piece of uh, piece of parchment that um, gives them a little bit of a description of the uh, of the golden iris and a. Um, and orders to uh, orders to, to try and take it down. Um, you're also going to find in those orders um, a uh, a description of the of the dragon that uh, of the dragon that they're that they're worshiping. And since I you're going to be running that, Ezekiel, if you want to, Andrew, if you want to tell them about the dragon that they're worshiping, we can do that too. Oh, gotcha. Um, it's a great red dragon, ancient, possibly no longer in this world. It might have ascended into some sort of deific position. They believe very firmly that it is in fact a deity somewhere and granting them additional strength and fervor in their battles. Yatsi Pin! We're going to kill you! <laughs> nice. So, um... So, do we know where they came from? They came out of the sky, okay. riding griffins. Not like from a stronghold nearby or something that nope. we can see. Nope. Uh, do I recognize the handwriting of the orders? Uh, no. Are the griffins close enough that I can roll an animal handling to make them my friend? <laughs> they're um, they're retreating because their guys jumped off of them screaming like idiots. And they're trained to go home when that happens. Lame. Yeah, I know. Fuck shit, we're out. Friend! Nope. That's a, that's a come home with the ship or don't come home at all. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Make Pretty much. Do. Does anybody have a passive perception over 18? No. Uh, no. Negative I haven't even calculated that yet or not. What's your wisdom modifier, Will? My wisdom is a, is a 15. Okay, That's so you respectable. plus two. Um, you don't, your passive perception is 17. 12. 17? I have a 17, yeah. All right. So, um, Ezekiel, since you are so perceptive, um, you are going to notice that the uh, the clouds are behaving a little bit strangely and that there's more, uh, there's more lightning in them than, uh, than, than there should be. Wait a minute. Hmm. Guys, there's more lightning. My spell called lightning works extra well with this. I gotta do that later. <laughs> Did you summon? Is it no? No, I didn't. No. And then out of the uh, out of the clouds 
coming down at you guys. You see the the shape of a young blue dragon. Full steam ahead, Captain, go! <laughs> so, young blue dragon, not Emerith? Not Emerith. It is clearly not Emerith. It is uh, much, much smaller. Um, you can tell that even though it's like 120 feet away right now. Nope. Not perceptive. Wow. Captain, time to go. Time to go. Time to go. <laughs> Are you saying it's only 120 feet away? Yeah, it's coming right at you. Call lightning, motherfucker. 120 feet away, I'm going to lightning this motherfucker up the ass. Isn't he resistant to it, though? No, Maybe half right. damage, I still do a lot of damage. Maybe. Okay. He, he might be immune. I didn't think the baby ones were immune. I was pretty sure that was an adult characteristic, but I don't know. So, I don't know this edition very well. They're immune. Well, that's lame. You call lightning, uh, and um, <laughs> the clouds sort of respond to your gestures, and uh, lightning crackles and just clearly strikes dead into the face of the uh, of the blue dragon, and it giggles at you because <laughs> it tickles, and then it's going to yeah. come right at you. I want out. I'm not interested in this fight. I'm not interested <laughs> at all. We're still in I initiative, buddy. <laughs> Peace, bitch. Peace, bitch. Peace, bitch. We're still in initiative, buddy. The young blue dragon is going to go at the bottom. Um, so next up is Nurum. Not happy. This thing is 120 feet away from us, then. It's, yeah, it's it's about 120 feet off the uh, off the boat, and uh, it's it's coming right at you. Hmm. Readying axe to. So we can't really even move any closer to it. Cause at least I can, anyway. No, you can't. All right, well, really good to do all I can. Ready my axe. He's going to be coming after me. I'm ready to swing. Ready to retaliate as soon as he strikes me. Cool. Maul, what would you like to do? Maul calls out friend or foe at the dragon. Right. He nods. Considers. <laughs> yeah, considers. Stands on the railing of the boat and waits. All right. <laughs> Fix. How far away did you say he was? 120? About 120 feet. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him with Elder's Blast. Sweet. Pew 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 pew. Laser beams. Not actually laser beams. So range spell attack save DC of fourteen. Elder's Blast is an attack roll. So, D20 plus proficiency plus charisma. Dude, you've been playing this character for like a year. <laughs> charisma! <laughs> I is good talker. <laughs> Whoop. That's the sound it makes when you roll a die in the chat. <laughs> I love you, the Owen. sound of a smart ass. <laughs> but uh, Maul just does this number to the dragon and crosses his arms and waits, standing on the railing. <laughs> you are going to miss. Wow. That's fucked up. Huh. Kenrick. Uh, it's disadvantage for being past the short range of a weapon, right? Yes. Yep. Unless you have the sharpshooter feet, and then it, uh, and then it doesn't matter. Well, mm. you are also going to miss. Yeah. And then the dragon has a flight speed of eighty, and so oh, he is going to close in, and use his breath weapon. Well, he has to do a double move to close in then. Well, the breath weapon is 60 feet, feet range. So oh, yeah, okay. He's going oh, to uh, close in 80 feet and fire off his breath weapon. Um, it's going to hit Fix and Nurum. 
and Ezekiel. Yeah, awesome. So make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's going to hit you, Ezekiel. <laughs> it's probably going to hit Andrew. Probably not good. So he's just returning the favor. You lightning him, he's lightning you back. Right, this is how we play, right? They're just greeting each other like friends. Yeah, dude, that's about as good as I get. <laughs> so, Nurum, you're going to take half damage. Uh, everybody else is going to take 55 lightning damage. Oh, uh, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Do you have uh, any kind of resistance or anything, Fix? I mean, we resist For fire. Lightning? Oh, yeah, that's right. Wait, I take that one. Well, I can do absorb elements. So I can have it. I would probably do that. Versus death? So you take half. You take 20, uh, 27. Cool. Ezekiel, back to the top. Death save. You're dead. I am dying. You did 55 damage. That's more than my max hit points. Fair enough. I mean, by a good chunk. Really? How many <laughs> By potentially points? a level. By a truffle shuffle. Huh? What's your max HP? 49. Ah. And I get seven a level, so it's literally like a level more than I have max. Okay, cool. On the plus side, half was more than uh, half was more than my max, uh, or it wasn't. Build that save. All right, Nurum, you're next. <laughs> he is within uh, forty feet, but he's still in the air, so yeah. you can't get any closer. Right. <laughs> So, that goes, damn, that's pretty much Do you have any left? I think I can do it. I still have light hammers. You can throw your hammer at him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I should probably rage first. This looks like it's getting pretty out of hand first. You should Here. definitely rage. I'm raging. I'm throwing my hammers. Give us your battle cry. <laughs> Not too loud, because you got kids asleep in the other room, right? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Don't barbarians have a uh, plus to intimidation? Uh, it, potentially. Not necessarily always. I don't have much charisma, so... <laughs> seven. Nope. You're going to miss. <laughs> you can throw your uh, you throw your hammer at him, and uh, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. he kind of dodges out of the Kiss way a little bit. Kiss that hammer goodbye. Bye, yep. hammer. Hammer is Bye, gone. Hammer. <laughs> That's cool. You can get more hammers later. Maul, what would you like to do? Forty feet out from the dragon. <laughs> I'm tempted to try and intimidate him, but my charisma is at fourteen. <laughs> you don't think that would do very good? Okay. Based on your extensive knowledge of young blue dragons. Okay. Yancey Ben. Yancey Ben. Do any of you speak Draconic? <laughs> Negative. Common or Fae, bro. It's hard to get languages in the new edition. It is hard to get languages in the new edition. So I have you're, Primordial. You're Background or say, I'm not Yancey Ben, but I'm going to fuck you up anyway. <laughs> Bubbles. I mean, honestly, he's probably right. <laughs> I think he was saying Yancey Ben, come save us. Is where he was going with it. Yeah, gotcha. He's converted. Well, with him being forty feet out, I can't really do much because I'm. I don't have weapons. <laughs> you can ready your action. Uh, for if he comes within within five feet of you to melee attack. Okay. Cool. Fix. Fix. 
fix. <laughs> we are... So, Ezekiel is currently dying, correct? Correct. I'm going to go force co him a potion. Oh, Tip one up for you, homie. I got oh, a basically. bunch. 2d4 plus 2. Uh, actually, it was a 2d8 plus 4. Okay, you're using a greater healing? Cool. I don't have any of the small ones. Unless, do you have any Andrew has a smaller on one on him. I have a lot of smaller ones on me. Like, clearly one. visible on his person. Your potion, then. I have a 2d4 plus 4. It's neither of those two. 2d4 plus 4 is the little one. It is? Okay, yeah, that's my bad then. Yeah. So... Well, four squaffy your potion. Cool. Fix, roll him his dice. There Fix, you go. Fix, roll me your dice, because I suck. Th Ezekiel gets seven hit points back. Ah, lame. Kirik. <laughs> um, that changes my action. Uh, Okay. Uh, I like my roll better, Ezekiel. <laughs> I do too. Yeah, yeah so sorry, because oh. Fix was supposed to roll the the uh, hit points. You get 11 hit points back, Ezekiel. All right. Uh, I mean, I clearly asked him to do it, not you, so, yeah. I apologize. You're good. I just can't read the chat, because I'm blind. Yeah, How high are the masts? <laughs> What's that? How high are the masts? Uh, 40, 50 feet. Cool. I'm going to climb. So whatever one's closest to the blue dragon. Preferably on the opposite side of it. <clears throat> yeah, there's two masts. Um, they're both in the middle of the ship. Um, so you can pick one, climb 20 feet up it. Yep. Um, yeah, whichever the main one is. And cool. Yeah, just, uh, and I'm triple moving. Get You're just running away? Yeah, using, uh, my, oh, using my action and my bonus action as dashes. Oh yeah, cool. So yeah, you can get as high up as you want on the on the main mast. Yeah, I'm gonna get up to like the. I assume there's a crow's nest type thing up there. Yep, crow's nest. Yep, it's about 35 okay. feet up. And then next round, I can do stuff, assuming he stays in the air. Cool. All right, Ezekiel, back to the top. Or no, the dragon gets to go. So he's gonna close and land on the uh, land on the deck, and he is going to attack uh, Nurum. And uh, Maul, um, he is going to I was, attack. I was holding action. Yes, you were. So go ahead and make your melee attack. Okay. I'm actually going to attempt to grab him as he's landing and get on top of him. Okay. He's mounting the dragon. Yes, I am. You're going to make Awkward. a um, opposed strength check. And is that with my modifier, too? Yep. So he critically fails, so you succeed. What? <laughs> so the dragon, you're going to mount the dragon. Yes, I am. <laughs> you're now on the dragon's back. Okay. I'll try um, not to blow you up with my spells while I'm shooting things at the dragon. Kind of. Um, I'm going to do a play of blows on him. Awesome. Do it up. So, Flurry of Blows means I get multiple of my hit die? No, it you means you get point. multiple attacks. Cool. It'd be nice if you just rolled damage. You're like, oh, only I hit? Great, keep going. <laughs> I think it's you get multiple attacks. Let me double check. It's it multiple is, attacks, Rick, you're correct. Two attacks. You're right. Okay. Yeah. Owen's just wishful thinking out loud. Yes. Okay, you can wish all you want. So roll your d20 to hit. Yep. Plus d4 plus 7? Yep. Oh. No, plus plus uh, d20 plus 7. I, I was uh, too far of a step ahead. Yep. You're going to hit. Okay. Right on the nose, actually. Cool. And then roll damage... So, D6 plus D4 plus 4. thought it was. Okay. That's what you rolled last time, right? Let me scroll back up. D6 plus D4 plus 4. Yep. Okay. That's 12. Cool. 
Okay, and for my the uh, other half of flurry, that is gonna be you. So roll your damage again, and then roll your attack again. <laughs> 